Now, after we finish threading, I always, always, always test the machine to see if I have um, done a good job with my threading. Your, your sewing, your stitching will tell you if you have done it correctly. So I always get a piece of scrap fabric. I've already tested another machine, so there's always already a, a seam line there. But you want to double over a piece of scrap fabric, and you can use something from your project or just a scrap fabric from the bin. Um, and go ahead and lift up. Now this is the important part. You've got a presser foot lever at the back of this machine that you're going to lift it up to get your fabric underneath and then put it back down so that you can begin to sew and it will hold your sewing in place. Okay. Now this one, to do back stitching on this machine, anytime we want to sew a seam, if we're sewing something to wear, we don't want it to come unraveled. So we want to kind of put a knot on the end of the, the beginning end of the seam, and then we're going to sew and we want to put a knot on the end so that as we're wearing it, it doesn't come unraveled. So to do that, it's called a back stitch. In this machine, the way that you back stitch is this little lever right here, you're actually going to hold up while you are pressing on your foot pedal and it will go backwards. This is kind of your reverse ditch. So go ahead and use your hand wheel to get your needle in place like we practiced on sewing on paper. Get that in place. Okay, so now we're going to do like two, one, two, forward. Now I'm going to go over here and press this up. I'm going to do two backward. You have to hold it in place while you're doing that. And then you can let it go. And now it'll just go forward. So now we're going to go so all the way through. Let's practice doing a back stitch at the end again. Back stitch. Okay. And now pull that out. And you're going to cut. Well, this one has a thread cutter too. So see how I've got these threads hanging? On the side here, this is a thread cutter. So you just put your, oh, it's a dull thread cutter. All right, that one's not working. Some of them may work. If they don't, then you're going to have to use your scissors. Okay, cut your threads, and now have a look at the, at the line of stitching. So this actually looks really, really nice. So we know that we, you check both sides. Oh, see right there, we kind of had a jumble of threads right there. I don't know what happened there, but it did work itself out, so it does look like our threading is good. That was probably just um, a jumble of threads from the bobbin. You, if you see that all along the way, then we know we need to take out our um, take out the whole entire thing and re-thread it. That's the way you kind of reboot your system to see if you can correct the problem. I don't want you to put your hand up at Mrs. Dykes. I have a threading problem. My first thing will be to say, hey, did you re-thread it? Because it's always 9.9 .9 times out of 10, the problem will be fixed if you re-thread your machine from top to bottom. So, but the threading looks good, so we did it correctly. So